So a few months back, we did a video on how to buy a classic Mustang. And we did that video, a couple people actually reached out to me and reminded me that the Fox body Mustangs are considered classics. Now we did that video, we did focus on the 65 through 73, but a lot of you have asked about the Fox Mustangs and what to look for. So today we're gonna to tell you how to buy a Fox body Mustang. When we refer to a Fox body Mustang, we're talking about obviously the 1979 through 1993 cars. Now when the 79 Mustang came out, it was much more muscular, much more European than the previous Mustang too, and they kept the design up through 1993. Now there's one split in the models, and basically you have your 79 through 86, known as the 4i cars, and then you have your later model 87 up through 93, which are often referred to as the aero cars. Now if you're looking to buy a Fox body Mustang, those two different styles is kind of a cutting point in the middle. A lot of people love the 4i, a lot of people love arrows. Personally, I love both of them, but a 4i coupe definitely gets me every time. Now, when it comes to body styles, you have three different choices. Starting in 83, the convertible came back, but from 79 through 93, you have the Mustang Coupe, also known as the Notchback or the Mustang Hatchback. And again, a ton of engine options were available. 2.3s, 2.3 turbos, 3.3 liters, 4.2 V8s, and obviously the 5.0 V8, which is the most desirable of the group. We're gonna talk a little bit more about some of the special edition Mustangs and some of the different options available in the different years. All right, so once you determine what year range that you like and what body style, whether it be a hatchback like we have here, a Cooper convertible, now you can figure out what car is right for you. Now, if you're looking for a car to heavily modify and kind of build into your dream car, a standard run-of-the-mill four-cylinder V8 Mustang is gonna be the way to go. But if you're looking for collectability, there's plenty of collectible Fox bodies as well. You have your 79 pace car, your 84 anniversary cars, you have the 82 through 93 police car, the 84 through 93 Celine Mustangs, a bunch of special edition convertibles, including the seven up and summertime editions, and of course the 93 Cobra and 93 Cobra R, probably one of the most collectible Mustangs out there. Now those cars, again, if you're looking to really heavily customize, I would stay away from and go for more of a base Mustang to build your dream car. Now when it comes to buying a Fox body Mustang, whether it be a hatchback, a coupe, or a convertible, there's a lot of common issues these cars have. At the end of this video, actually, we're gonna give you a link for a video we did on five common problems these cars see that is very, very easy to fix. Now when it comes to buying these, it's like buying any other car. You wanna buy the nicest car you can afford. I mean, if you wanna build a whole project and you have the ability to do all the work yourself, by all means do so. But if you're paying someone to do a lot of the work and you're trying to build a custom car, again, buy the straightest, cleanest car that you can find. Now the one thing you're going to see with a Fox body Mustang and probably more so than any other generation is that at this point in time, almost all these cars have been modified. The Fox was so popular during its time and still popular today that a lot of people have taken these cars and personalized them. I mean, our car here isn't that modified, but you know, we changed the exhaust, we put a five lug conversion on it, redid the interior, put a cowl hood. You know, a lot of these cars are gonna be modified. So, you know, there's a lot of them out there. Make sure you find one that has the modifications you're looking for. And again, buy the nicest car you can find. There's a lot of small things that you think wouldn't be a big deal to fix, but can actually be very expensive in the long run. And we're gonna start with the front of the car and work our way back and give you some ideas of what you wanna look for if you're buying a Fox body Mustang. Now, starting at the very front, bumper covers, headlights, fog lights, headlight supports, all that stuff. These cars, they're very inexpensive. These parts are readily available. You know, if there's a little damage there, don't worry, it's a cheap fix. And moving back though, structurally, you got your radiator support here. Now we see a lot of Fox Body Mustangs with the lower radiator support is actually dented and pushed upward. Now while that part is available, it can be a very expensive structural repair, so something you wanna check out when you're buying your Mustang. And moving further back, there's one area in particular with the Fox Body that it's very, very expensive to fix if it goes bad, and that is the bottom of your strut tower here. On the inside, if you follow the strut tower down, it's going to hit your frame rail. Where those two pieces connect, is a common rust area on the Fox Body Mustang. Now those parts are not available, and if they do have to be repaired, it normally requires pulling the engine, and it can be very, very expensive to do. So that's one area you really want to look at, especially with the structure, before you pick up a Fox Body Mustang. Now when it comes to the engine, I'm assuming a lot of you are gonna be like me and are gonna be looking at the five liter Mustangs. Now don't rule out a four cylinder though. The four cylinder Mustangs, a lot of times the chassis is in a lot better shape and has a lot less wear and tear than the five liter cars. But again, if you're looking for the engine, look for the normal things, you know, valve cover gasket leaks, rear main seal leak is very, very common in a five liter Mustang and it's not hard to fix. You gotta pull the transmission, pull the clutch to get to the rear main seal so it can be a somewhat time consuming and if you're paying somebody, a little bit expensive to fix. But these engines, a good running five liter engine, they're a lot of fun. Obviously they're easy to modify. And these engines when taken care of can go two, 300,000 miles without a problem. 
Now moving back to the door area, there's a couple places you want to look at. Now don't worry about roof rail moldings or in the convertible, any of the weather strip up here. The door moldings, even the body moldings, all this stuff is available. These can be a little pricey, but they're not too bad. But all that stuff is ready to available. What's not available though is the sheet metal door itself. So you want to look at the overall condition. You know, get down here on this edge right here on the rocker is where these doors commonly rust out. Open the door, get on the inside of the door and check it out. Make sure there's no rust in that area. While you're there, also check out the rocker. A lot of times the rockers can rust out or people actually jack these cars up in the wrong place and it can do a lot of damage to the rocker. And what you wanna do now is open the door. And our door is nice and solid, but if the door does drop a little bit, it's not a huge cause of concern. It's normally gonna be the door pins. That's a common issue with these cars. The door pin kits are available. We've showed you how to replace them. They're not that bad to do. What you wanna make sure though, is open the door and look here in the door jam area. Make sure that it's not rusted. Again, that's a structural part that is not reproduced. It's not available in the aftermarket. That's rusted out. It's a very, very expensive repair. That's bad. You probably wanna look for a different car. All right, so now we're moving back to the quarter panel area. Now again, you wanna look for rust here. Look down the wheel wall area up in here, down in the bottom, especially behind the wheel, check in that area well to make sure there's no rust or no previous repairs that may have been done poorly that can hurt the value of the car in the long run. Now, when you're talking about these quarter windows, the convertible, obviously, this isn't an issue, but when you have a hatchback or a coupe, there's a couple options here. Now, if you look at ours, they kind of have the normal worn out look. I mean, this car obviously you can tell by the paint sat out in the sun for a long time, and these tend to go bad. Now, there's a couple options here. If this isn't too bad, you can actually use some filler and these can be restored and made to look nice again. We also offer brand new ones from Scott Drake that will be a direct replacement for the hatchback windows. They just don't say Mustang on them. Now, if you have a coupe, it's a little bit trickier. The coupe windows are a lot rarer. There are not as many out there. There is no reproductions available. So if you have a coupe window and these are in bad shape, they can be expensive to fix. So again, something you wanna consider before you buy that Mustang. Moving on to the back of the car, don't concern yourself with stuff like taillights, bumper covers. Both are readily available as reproductions, look great, fit great without any kind of problems. Where you want to look here is a couple different places. You want to get up underneath here. Check the bumper structure, check the back of the spare tire wall. Again, double check for rust and also to make sure the car hadn't been hit in the back which can cause problems down the road. Now when it comes to the hatchback, there are no reproduction hatches available except for a fiberglass one. So if you're looking for original metal, you want to make sure this edge, follow it all the way over, doesn't have bubbles, rust, whatever. And they also do tend to rust along the top as well. So you wanna make sure those areas are good because again, hatches, they do not make a reproduction. You'll have to find a decent original one. A lot of them are rusted out. Now, if you have a Cooper convertible, reproduction trunk lids are available in the original metal. So if these are in bad shape, they are easier to fix. Now, speaking of the hatch, if you go to pop the hatch to look at the interior to check out the carpet in the trunk area, don't worry if the hatch does not go up on its own. Hatch struts are a common failure on Fox Body Mustangs and a very cheap and easy fix. Now, if you're buying a Fox Body, if you can get the car in the lift, that's great. But if not, a lot of the stuff you can see just by looking under the car. Like I mentioned before, check the radiator support. Make sure it's not completely caved in, pushed up, damaged, whatever. Again, this can be repaired, it can be replaced, but it's very time consuming to do so. Now, moving backward, you can see we have some oil down here. Again, a typical problem with these cars, the rear main seal leaks, and you see some oil sprayed by the clutch and the components down here. It's not a very bad issue. It's not something to really you know, stop you from buying a car, but it is something you will have to address in the future. Again, when you do a clutch, it's a perfect time to do that. And moving backwards, check the floor pans. Floor pan rust is very, very common in the Fox Body Mustangs. And again, full pans are available, but they require welding and can be expensive to install if you can't do it yourself. You also wanna make sure there's nowhere like somebody jacked the car on the floor and cracked the pan. Again, I've seen that on a lot of these cars. Now our car does have subframe connectors, a very, very common modification on these cars, makes them ride a lot better, makes the chassis a lot stiffer. This is actually a very good thing to see on the car, but if you don't have them, it's something you definitely wanna get, especially if you have a convertible. And moving backwards, this is the last area you really wanna check when buying a Fox body, and that is the torque boxes. Well, these cars, especially the lift style control arm in the back, this takes a lot of abuse, and these can crack and rip and damage from the floor. Now, there are repair kits to repair the torque boxes depending on the damage. In our case, these have actually been welded at some point, but a set of repair panels can be expensive and time consuming to install, and if these are damaged too badly, you may never even get them right. So this is an area you definitely wanna check when buying a Fox Body Mustang. Now, as far as the interior goes, you just wanna look for wear and make sure everything that's supposed to work does. I mean, stuff like this ashtray, it's gonna be broken if it hasn't been fixed already. Very, very simple fix. If you do see some coolant on the carpet, again, heater core, pretty common time-consuming repair, but pretty common to find on the Fox Body Mustangs. 
door panels are replaceable, carpet's replaceable. The seats, obviously, you can see we have a set of TMI seats in our car. The factory seats do get something a lot of people call the gangster lean, where the frame cracks and the seat will kind of like lean towards the inside. So if you do have that, you will have to pull off the upholstery to fix it, at which point it might be better just to buy a new seat. But as far as where items not available, the only thing you really can't get is an airbag steering wheel. You know, there are covers available, but there is no new wheel for the airbag car. So this is worn out. You want to consider repair to that. It's going to be somewhat expensive to fix. Besides that, pretty much anything else in the interior can be addressed pretty easily. If you've previously owned a Fox body or currently own one, a lot of what we just showed you is probably stuff you're familiar with. But if it's your first time buying one, hopefully a lot of this information was valuable to you. Now, Fox body owners are almost like a cult at this point. There's a ton of these cars out there, all different levels of modification. And these cars, whether they're stock or modified, are a heck of a lot of fun to drive. So if you're looking for a Fox body, again, buy the nicest one you can find. And anything you need for your Fox body is available here at cjponyparts.com. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that video. Make sure you click on the CJ button so you subscribe for future videos and click the corner up here for more videos for your Mustang.